there's not uh, much you can say. I mean, they, they just kicked our butt. They're a very, very good team. Um, we got home about 2 o'clock uh, Wednesday morning from Iowa State at 2 a.m. And, you know, by the time I got to bed, I couldn't fall asleep. And I started watching film, and I texted our coaches. I said, they're scary good. Uh, I said, I'm awake, and it's almost a nightmare. And I, and I knew it would not be easy. Obviously, we had to have a special effort. Some things go our way. Um, they beat you in so many ways. Obviously, their guard play is, ex ex is exceptional. Uh, Teague had not been shooting the ball that well. Um, and then he steps up and makes shots. Um, you know, Jared Butler, who, you know, I, I love. Uh, he tried out for USA Basketball. I got to know him really well. Uh, you know, 13 assists. Uh, and then Davion uh, uh, Mitchell, just as uh, elite defender, physic, their physicality. And then I was just telling radio people, they beat you in all aspects of it. The only thing we beat them on when we got the ball out of bounds, uh, they're out of bounds underneath defense, was about the only thing that we really took advantage of. And that allowed Tony to, uh, Antonio to get some little hoops. And Sir uh, Selton got a lob dunk off it. So, uh, but they beat you in special teams, the rebounding. They beat you on free throw block out. They beat you uh, in so many, in so many ways. And, uh, you know, it, it's all we can do is learn from it. We beat those guys six in a row at one time. Now they got us three in a row. They're older. They understand their physicality. Uh, they, they really know their roles. They're unselfish. They make the extra pass. Uh, they do, you know, they do what uh, their coach asks and, they're special. They're, I had a special team at Illinois. Um, you know, it, it's it, they're comparable. Obviously, Darren Williams, some of those guys ended up being longtime NBA players. Of, you know, we'll see about their future, but uh, it, it's a special elite team. Thank you, Coach. Uh, first question to Michael Goins. Yeah, Bruce, this is just kind of a uh as advertised team that you guys went up against today? Yeah, I mean, again, I, I knew they were good. I told the guys at halftime, I knew they were good, but I didn't know they were that good. And, and to me, again, they're passing, uh, their, their physicality, they disrupt you. Scott's done a nice job. He's taken a little bit of some different, everybody, you know, Texas Tech icing the ball screens, their physical play, pushing it to the baseline. Um, you know, that, that, that puts you in a bind. They switch a lot like Oklahoma does. And then they got the rebounding in West Virginia uh, where they just crash the glass. They dare you to, you know, can you box me out? Uh, we we kind of joked on the bench. I thought on free throws they were maybe missing on purpose uh, because they thought they had a chance to go get the rebound. And so it's, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're good. There's no doubt. You, I told our guys, learn from it. Learn from it. Nothing, you know. I, I needed, you know, it, it hurt us, and I'm not saying it'd be a big difference, but it hurt us to have Nigel get two quick ones, um, you know, because if you look at the plus minus, he's he's minus seven, you know, he gives he maybe gives us a little better chance, five assists, uh, and then Mike McGurl needed to be better from the get go. He was our older guy; he's been through it, he's played these guys, and uh, you know, just he just didn't get us going like we needed to. He's been so good for us the last two games with his assist turnovers and just making the right plays and um you know it, it's uh you know it it, it, it it's a it's a tough game learn from it the most important thing now is one o'clock on monday uh we if we've made progress on it as a team it will show up on monday at one o'clock and then we'll know know what we're really about and was their pick and roll game as powerful from a team as you've seen and and yeah, quite a while. So, uh, you know i uh, jonathan Gosh, he just runs to that hoop and he can, I mean, but they got to deliver the passes and they got to want to make the passes. Um, you know, our coverage wasn't what we had hoped, to be honest, but they're, they're so smart that when you help one way, then they make the next pass and uh, they read it. They read it so many different ways. And I, I thought there was, we had a handful of really good possessions where we played good defense, but um, they just find a way to keep making the next play, next pass. Uh, and, and that's how good they are. I, I thought early, uh, our, the little things really hurt us, our discipline, flying by shot fakes, not boxing out on the free throws, not getting some loose ball rebounds. You know, if you, if you do a few of those things, maybe the games, they don't get in that free spirit mode and, and get going in that heat check and, 
now you make it a little tighter. But we didn't do those. And, uh, you know, you can explain to the guys how good they are, but until they go against them, uh, then, then they really find out. Thank you, Bruce. Uh, next question to Kellis Robinette. You said you hope they uh, learn from this game. What are one or two things you hope they do actually learn when they come back to the court on Monday? What, you know, how hard they play, uh, how well they play together, how they, they, they execute, uh, you know, how they, they, they accept their roles. And, and, you know, one game it's one guy, it's, it's T going. The, you know, the next game it's Butler going. Uh, they make passes to their big guys. They, they got Mayer coming off the bench. He can play for anybody. Uh, just uh, they, you know, all the things you want from a team, they they have, and you know, so it's uh, you know, it's again, you know, we we have a lot of young guys. Those those guys are they, a lot of them transferred, sat out, uh, you know, and and they develop their game, develop their strength, learn the game, you know, and that's what that's what you got to have. This is our this is our year to to learn and grow uh, as a team. Um, I'll be honest, I wish I had, you know, given them, you know, better answers to maybe how we could go against their, their defense. But at the same time, we gave them some things and we just didn't execute them. Uh, so, you know, just learn from that also. And, I mean, I know it comes in a defeat, so maybe you can't take a whole lot from it, but it, is this something that Antonio can build on, you think? Well, I hope played? so. You know, again, the one thing I said we scored on was out of bounce plays and Tone got maybe three out of, out of that. He made a couple shots. He got got a three. Goes nine for nine, 23 points. I thought he was active on the boards, um, you know. But like a lot of our guys, we got to, he's got to get better. They got to get better on defense, and it's and some of it's schemes and and knowing where to be. But some of it's just I got to contain the dribble, and and you know it's it's something we've uh, we've worked on you know for the last few weeks very very hard. Uh, but you went against an elite group with a lot of guys that. Uh, uh, can can make plays and and so it, it you know I, I'm happy for Tone and and you know hope he can continue to use this and get better and but we all got to get better at the other parts of the game. I they scored a hundred you know we scored seventy that's <laughs> we're you know normally in a in a Big Twelve game if you score seventy or sixty nine whatever it is you got a chance to win but we got we got to stop people. All right. Thanks, Bruce. I, I will say, I, I think your coaching staff won the dressing game today, at least. The pullovers look good. <laughs> nice, nice lavenders, yes. Uh, next question to Grant Flanders. Hey, Coach. Um, I see Luke out here drilling threes. I'm just wondering uh, if you have an update on his timeline. Well, I asked uh, Luke Saber, our trainer, this morning. I, I would say he'd be – we're hoping when he gets back from Christmas, he can get back involved in practice, real practice where there's, you know, uh, he's gone from, you know, running in the pool to, uh, you know, running on the court to doing some shooting to uh, jumping a little bit. Now it's individual workouts coming up and then hopefully getting, getting in practice, um, you know, when we get back from Christmas and then, you know, then it's just how does he adjust to it? When you don't play basketball for four months, it, you, you don't want to force the issue. And then uh, also I just want to ask about Casey and Monty as well and, and if you have updates on, on their progress. Yeah, I, I think Casey's made good progress. I, I would, you know, my, I guess my dream or wish would be when maybe when conference starts again after Christmas, um, you know, but we just got to wait and see on both of them. Thank you, Coach. Anything else for Coach Weber before we let him go? Oh, Ryan Gilbert with the next question. Hey, Coach. Um, how much does a loss like this kind of let your young guys realize um, what the standard is to be elite in the Big 12? I, I, that's, I mean, it's exactly what I talked about after the game. This is, this is what, you know, this is a special team, and they, they – they're older. They understand how to play. They play the right way. They play hard. They go, they defend. They do a lot of good things. And and this, you know, this is a learning lesson. Hey, they kicked our butt. Get up tomorrow. Get ready for Jacksonville. Learn from it and hope we keep making progress. That's that's the most important thing. Uh, the process, the challenge of 
of continuing to push herself, getting better. Uh, you know, these guys were nowhere near what they are now. Jared Butler, no way he's getting 13 assists when he's a freshman. But now just a great feel, understanding, great pace. Uh, one of the things, I, you know, beside playing strong, I wrote on the board, which is they just play so physical. I wrote, we got to play with a consistent pace. And I knew if they got us into a hectic pace uh, and getting us doing things that we don't normally do, uh, we would struggle. And, and I think that was a big thing that we had to learn from them. Hey, their physicality, you got to deal with it. Then they're going to give you something because they overdo stuff. Now, if you read what they overdo, now you get some easy opportunities. But uh, it's easier said than done, especially when they're coming at you. Uh, learn from it, grow from it. Hope, hope we can get to that point here in the, in the future.